How's it guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Welcome back to Fit Life with Lee. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're going to be doing a 50 minute workout, almost an hour, focusing on strength training. These exercises are going to be isolated exercises, so you're really focusing into each muscle group as we go along, okay? So we're going to be working separately. Uh, we're going to be spending time on biceps, lunges, lower body triceps. You'll see and I'll, I'll explain as we go along. If you don't have a set of dumbbells, maybe try and get something at home like two cans, two cans of tin food or something like that. Anything, get creative with it and you can still join us today. Okay, so pace yourselves. It's going to be quite a long workout, but we're going to make it through and it's going to be fun. Right, so we're going to start with our warm up. So let's get ready. We're going to start with some nice shoulder rolls. Nice and easy. Oh, it always feels good when you do a shoulder roll. You always feel these little cracks and things. Right, just getting that body ready, loosening up for all the movements that we're going to be doing today. So remember today, we're not going to be jumping around. We're not going to be doing any cardio. Remember, we're doing weight training, resistance training. Okay, so literally just standing and working into each muscle group, okay? Full body workout. So reach up nice and high towards the sky, looking up, side body stretch. Nice and easy. Good. Right, from here we're gonna do a little bit of a squat. One. Two, we're gonna go for eight reps. Three, four, five, six. Remember, flat back, engage the core. Now we're gonna add the arms up. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Now you're going to keep the hands up. We're going to go for a little knee lift. One, two, three, four. That's it, guys. Looking good. Pace yourselves. Five, six, seven, eight. Now from here, we're going to come down, touching the ground, knees a little bit bent, and we're just going to twist up, looking up. One, Two, good, three, four, some nice rotation in that upper body, five, six, seven, and eight. Dry, from here I want us to step to the side into a low lunge position, we're just going to rock forward and back. Eight, seven, six, five. Opening up those hips and the back, backs of the legs. Two, and one. Right, come back center, nice and slow. Going to the other side. How are we doing? Everybody okay? Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right, coming back center. Right, and rolling up nice and easy. And we go again with our squat. Let's go. Eight, seven, six. You'll feel a little bit looser now after that. You'll feel a little bit of difference in your squat. Good. That's it guys, looking good. Now we add the arms, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift, lift, leaving the arms up overhead and we're gonna do our knee lifts, eight, Seven, 
six. How are we feeling? Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Yep. Yes, your heart rate should be creeping up just a little bit. Okay. Nice. Right, from here, bending into the knees. Down, we go back to your rotation. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. We're almost there. Two. And one. Right, from here, guys, you're gonna go out to the side, stretching out the backs of the legs here. Right? If this is a little bit too hard for you, you can stay standing. Right, and you don't have to go straight down. Just there is fine. Okay. How are we doing, guys? We are almost there. Almost through with the warm up, and then we're gonna go straight in. Okay, nice, side to side, loosening up. Oh, this is always a good one for me. Woo. Always quite stiff in my hamstrings and my hips. So this one is a nice, nice opener. Right, one more. And relax, gently coming up. How are we doing? Everybody good. Please get your set of dumbbells. Right. We've got four circuits to get through today. Right, we've got circuit number one. We're gonna do three exercises. For each circuit, we're gonna do three exercises. Okay? So, for circuit number one, we're gonna be focusing on your lower body. Okay, you're gonna be doing your squats, and then we're gonna be doing chest, and then we're gonna be doing an exercise for back. Okay, so each circuit we're gonna be repeating three times. Are we good with that? So these, these three circuits are gonna cover your full, full body. Full body workout, you're gonna feel it. You're definitely gonna feel it a little bit today. If this is the type of work that you haven't, if this is the type of exercise that you don't really do, or don't really focus on, maybe you do a lot of cardio, maybe you do a lot of, lot of heat, but not really strength training, lifting weights, you're definitely gonna feel it, okay? Um, so I'll show you first your exercise number one. You're just gonna do a squat with your dumbbells, right? Then your second exercise, you're gonna do a standing chest fly, right? Bringing your dumbbells close together, right? Standing chest fly. And then your back exercise, you're gonna be doing a dumbbell row. So you've got a little bit of a bend in your knees, your back is flat and you're rowing back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Okay, how's that? Are we happy with that? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so get ready. We're gonna start in a few seconds with your squat, right? Please put your dumbbells wherever's comfortable for you. You can hold on wherever, even if it's hanging down, that's totally fine, let's go. Right, squat time for 45 seconds. So we're working for 45 seconds for each exercise and then we're gonna rest for 15 in between. Okay, and we're gonna keep on going like that for our three rounds. Remember each, uh, each circuit, we're gonna repeat three times. Okay, right, keep it going guys. Now remember with your squat, you've gotta sit back into your heels, push out that bum, squeezing up on top. That's it. Nice and easy. Nice guys, looking good. Pace yourselves. Remember we've got three rounds, so I really want you to pace yourselves with the exercises, okay? Right, we're moving to chest. So we're gonna do a standing chest fly. So remember, arms wide, and you're gonna bring your dumbbells together to touch. Okay, let's go. That's it guys. Exhale, when you lift. Right, so I want you to remember when you're doing all these exercises, the exhale is always against the resistance, okay? So, against will be, good. That's it, hardcore guys, looking good. 
nice and easy remember pace yourself right looking really good guys keep it going nice and easy yep one more and relax right we've got our back so very very important now when you're doing your row that you are squeezing your shoulder blades together your elbows go backwards not out to the sides push your elbows back okay you need to be for, for, uh, pointing backwards good nice remember a little bit of a bend in the knees Ooh. sorry guys there's like little bugs flying around here <laughs> if you're a cape town person you know they call it a mughi so there are lots of them here it's early morning here by me now so it's just like bugs galore so i'm hoping they don't fly into my nose or anything like that because that's going to be horrible you know that feeling or in my mouth while i'm talking <laughs> keep going last one and relax okay cool we've got first round done we've got two more to go okay so now we go back to our squats okay nice and easy pace yourselves remember you're going to exhale when you come up against the resistance right here we go nice are you guys pushing that bum out remember push out right weight into the heels good I don't know what this looks like from your angle but for me it's a bit weird because the grass isn't level <laughs> okay so I'm not on a flat surface so I hope it doesn't look too crazy but yes flat back remember engage your core keep the tummy tight all the time don't let go palms out squeezing up don't forget the breath that's it and relax how are we doing we're killing it easy right not too bad okay here we are we're going for our standing chest press am i in the middle yes i am <laughs> sorry guys i'm really ocd so i'm hoping that i'm in the middle of the shot okay nice standing chest press here we go lifting up not chest press chest fly good yep don't forget the breath that's it nice and easy pace yourselves we are almost there working into that chest watch your posture are you still standing tall remember with these exercises you've got to make sure that you're really focusing on posture as well you're standing tall you are lifted right here we go so we're going back to our row keep the chest keep the head up and we're going to row back squeezing the shoulder blades together here we go that's it good exhale when you lift up remember elbows facing the back of your room okay so your arms need to be quite close to your body for this row okay that's it squeeze up okay getting nicely into that upper back yep nice and easy guys we've got one more round to go and then we move on to the second circuit good after this we're going to get a two minute break okay so you can really nicely recover in between okay cool last round right here we go so for the last round i'm going to challenge you we're going to do a couple of squats but in the last 20 seconds i want us to do a hold we're going to hold the squat down for 20 seconds can we do that yes obviously you can definitely okay i believe in you here we go sometimes something feels hard something uh, sometimes something sounds hard you know but you never actually know until you try it and you might surprise yourself so let's go squatting nice and deep and here we go we're gonna hold let's go 
hold that squat, here we go. Come on guys, bend in, thumbs down, chest up. How are we doing? 10 more seconds, you can do it, come on. Here we go, almost there. And relax, oh yes. How are we feeling? You did it, okay. You did it, nice and easy. Okay, we're gonna move on to our chest. Well done, guys. Last two exercises for the circuit. Okay, let's lift. Woo. Nice. Remember, out wide to the sides, touching your dumbbells together. Nice. That's it. Here we go, guys. Nice. Keep it going. We are almost there. Remember, when we are done with this circuit, you're going to rest for two minutes. Okay, just recouping, just recovering before we move on to circuit number two. Right, keep it going. And relax. Right, last exercise. Here we go. Here we go. We're going for our dumbbell row, getting into the back. Okay, remember, a little bit of a bend, keep the chest up and row back. So if you're on the side, I don't want you to close up your body, right? You've got to lift yourself up. Can you see that? Lift yourself up, open up the chest, open up the, I was gonna say open up the head. That sounds hard. But open up everything and keep everything lifted. Right, keep the head up, keep the chest up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, don't forget the exhale. That's it. Nice. Good, last one. And relax. Circuit one, done. You take a breather, take whatever you need your water, your towel, anything you need. And just recover, deep breaths. Two minutes is a long time to rest. I want you to feel fresh for the next circuit, okay? So for the next circuit, what we're gonna do? Again, we're gonna go for arms and legs. Your first exercise is gonna be a tricep extension. Okay, so focusing on the triceps now. So your triceps, you're gonna be in this position, right? Your elbows are close together, right? That's your tricep extension. If you wanna stand like this, that's totally fine. Then we're gonna to go to a reverse lunge, okay? Lunging down, keeping everything lifted. If a lunge is something you really, really struggle with, what you can do is go back to your squat that we did before, if you're beginner level and you're still working on your lunges, I want you to get your chair, okay? And you're gonna hold onto the back of your chair and lunge like that, okay? Using the chair for stability and for your balance, okay? Then we're gonna go to our bicep curl. Okay. Easy peasy. Are we happy with that? Okay, so we're gonna be doing those three exercises focusing on triceps, lunges, biceps, Three rounds. Are we ready? Come on, let's go. So, remember now with the tricep. Elbows closed. You don't want to be here, guys. Keep your elbows closed up towards the head. Okay? And we lift from there. Now remember with the exhale, you're going to lift. Okay, let's go. Keep the upper arm nice and stable in one position. Okay? Let's go. It's literally just the hinge at your elbow, right? Just the hinge at your elbow. Bringing the weight down nice and easy towards your upper back. Okay. That's it. Sexy toned arms, guys. If you're looking to tone your arms, these are the types of exercises you wanna do. Okay. Really, really good for muscle, muscle building, okay? Now, if you're a female, don't be scared of the weight, okay? I get a lot of 
um, questions about, oh, if I go too heavy, am I gonna look bulky? Am I gonna look like a man? It's not gonna happen, guys. All that it's gonna do is give you some really, really nice, lean muscle, okay? So, for us as women, we don't have enough testosterone in our bodies to get bulky like that, okay? Unless you're a female bodybuilder and you're taking like crazy supplements and things and really, really focusing on getting that bulk, okay? And I mean, for some women, that's a thing. That's what they want, okay? And that's all good, you know? Um, everybody should be working towards what they want for their own bodies, okay? And people should respect that. So, but I do get a lot of concerns with strength training, especially in the classes that I teach at the gym, about going very, very heavy and getting bulky. Not gonna happen, guys. I promise you that. Okay, so don't be scared of the weight. Don't be scared of the weight. Okay, so we're gonna move on to bicep curl. Squeezing the bicep up, and here we go. Remember the exhale against the resistance. That's it. Now, you've gotta flex your bicep up nice and tight. Okay, so don't just lift the weight without doing any activation. You've gotta lift up and squeeze your bicep. Okay, so think when you squat, when you lift up from that squat, from the lower position, you squeeze up your glutes, right? When you come up. So think of it as the same thing. Squeeze the bicep, right? You've got to activate those muscles every single time. So I often forget to do that. Okay, that's really gonna maximize your results. Right, round one done, how are we feeling? Can we go for the second round? We're gonna go back to our tricep extension. Here we go. Okay, how are we doing guys? Everybody happy still? It's not feeling too long yet? <laughs> good. No guys, you guys are looking good. Okay, this is like some of my favorite exercises. And really, like this is my preferred style of training, ex like really isolating each muscle. Okay, I love this type of training. Okay, really, really good, good for toning. Okay, full body toning, just getting that nice lean muscle. Okay, and obviously if you're looking for weight loss, fat loss. This is also very, very good, okay? It doesn't just have to be cardio. Strength training is actually something that you really, it's important that you incorporate it, especially for um, fat loss. Okay, you'd be surprised. Remember the intensity of your workout really depends on how heavy you go. Okay, so obviously the heavier your weights, the more intense it's gonna be, okay? And the higher your heart rate's gonna be and the higher your calories burnt. Okay, so you could actually burn way more calories doing a strength training session than going for a 5K run. Okay, really depending on your weights, of course. So that's something obviously that you must work towards and build up, you know? Progressive overload is when you you start off and then get heavier and heavier and heavier each time, okay, as you get stronger. It's a process, it takes, while. it takes a while, but you know, it's, 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 it's a thing. Phew, I'm talking a lot, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go bicycle. So yeah, as I was saying, with the progressive overload, I mean, when I started strength training, I wasn't using seriously heavy weights. You know, I had to work my way up to get to get to like really lifting heavy, heavy weights at the gym. Okay, and that happened over time, over a couple of years. You know, you start feeling stronger, your body's capable of doing more, right? How are you feeling? I'm talking so much that I don't even know what set we're on. I'm assuming this is like set number two. <laughs> We've got one more round after this, right? Or no? 
Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Perfect. We've got our last round to go and we're gonna go for our tricep extension. Okay, this is the last round and then we've got circuit number three. It's going by so quickly. I hope you feel that way. It's, it's, for me, it's feeling very, very quick. Maybe it's because I'm just talking, talking, talking all the time. So yeah, I don't know. I hope you're still good and hope you're still feeling good. How are the arms feeling? Little bit of a burn. You've got to feel it out for yourself with your weights, okay? So if you are doing these exercises and you're like, mm, I'm not really feeling anything, this is doing nothing. Maybe your weights are too light. And also maybe you're not activating your muscles the way you should be or your form or technique is out, okay? So you need to just monitor yourself, check it out and see. Okay, only you can feel that in your body. I won't be able to feel it, of course. Okay, so reverse lunge, are we ready? So step nice and wide so that your knee is in line with your ankle, right? That's what you want for your reverse lunge, okay? That alignment is important. Okay, your tummy is still tight. You've got stability in your body. Remember, if you are more beginner level and you're still struggling with your lunges, I hope you've got a chair there to help you with your balance or you are doing squats. Okay, good. Yes. Whew. So nice. So good. Almost there, come on, five more seconds, you can do it. Yep. And relax. Are we okay? So, last and final exercise before another two minute break. I know you're excited, I'm excited as well. <laughs> Let's lift. It's always nice to just recoup, man. You know, you don't want to be too tired. You want to actually finish your workout, you know? So that's the nice thing about strength training. You can take your time. It's like you don't have to, it's not heat. It's not cardio where you must just go, 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 go all the time. Right? Nice and slow, easy pace. Okay. Really working into those muscles. Don't forget to squeeze. That's it. Lovely. Okay. We're almost there, guys. One more rep. And relax. Right. Take your two minute breather. Take whatever you need. Recover well. We've got our next circuit, circuit number three. Okay. And for this circuit, I hope the, the water is not too loud on the mic because I hate hearing like swallowing sounds or like food chewing people chewing yeah that's just just me so i hope it's not too loud of a microphone for you like heavy swallowing and stuff ew <laughs> so for this next circuit we're going to focus on shoulders okay we're going to do shoulders then we're going to do calf raises leaning into the calves and then we're going to do what was the other one Clean and press, okay? So clean and press is like a compound exercise. You're really working into hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, back, everything, okay? So let me just show you. First exercise, we're gonna do an Arnold press for your shoulders, right? Dumbbells in front of your face and then you're gonna rotate up to press, okay? Then you're gonna do your calf raises, okay? If you struggle with this with balance, just hold onto a wall or a chair, if you've got a chair, and then you clean and press. Right, bringing the dumbbells just over the knees, keep the chest and the head up, everything nice and lifted. Are we good? Those are your three exercises, we've got three rounds. After this, our fourth and final round is just gonna be abs, and then we're done. Easy peasy, this is going by quickly. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with our Arnold press, here we go. Lift. That's it. Let's burn up those shoulders, guys. Here we are. Nice and easy. Remember, pace yourselves. Okay. 
exhale, shoo, against the resistance. Shoo. Nice. Good. That's it guys. Really, really good. Remember the rotation, lifting up and relax. Right, have your dumbbells on your sides or you can even have your dumbbells relaxing on your shoulders, whatever is most comfortable for you. Right, and you're just gonna lift up nice and easy onto the balls of your feet. Okay, so like I said, if this is a struggle for you and you struggle with your balance, please hold on to a wall, hold on to a chair, anything. Right, and you just lift up. Nice and high onto the balls of the feet. Okay, control it and flex your calf muscles when you're up there. Right, really squeeze them. That's it. Nice. We're almost there guys, we are literally almost there, at the finish line. You're going to feel amazing when you're done, right? You're going to feel it, like I said, if this is not the type of training you usually do, you're going to feel it. <laughs> it's a good one, it's a good saw guys, it's a good saw. Okay, next one, we've got our clean and press. Remember now, keep everything lifted, let me show you from the side. Feels so weird because this grass is not level. <laughs> right, are we good? That's it. Nice. This is gonna get your heart rate up a little bit more. Good. Chest and head up. Try not to look down. Keep everything lifted. Strong, confident moves. Let's go. Yep. Nice guys, keep it going. Flip and lift. Okay? Flip. Shoo. Exhale. Flip. Shoo. Exhale. Got it? And relax. Right. Oh, my little thingy came off my mic. Okay, cool. Are we ready? We're going back to number one. Arnold Press. Let's go. Second round. Right, here we go. Lifting up, nice and easy. Good. Lovely stuff, oh, sun's coming out. Hope you guys can still see me. I can't actually see from the camera what it looks like. Especially when the sun is like kind of on my face. I hope that it's not messing with the vibes. Right. We're almost there. How are the shoulders feeling? We managing okay? Yes. Right, second calf raise. Here we go. So remember, coming up nice and high onto the balls of those feet. Let's go. Good. Yeah, oh, guys, you guys are doing amazing. Amazing, amazing work. Isolated exercises. Focusing on each muscle group. Full body workout. Okay. Really, really good, guys. You know, the thing about using free weights about training like this is normally people are normally scared to do it because it's um, like form, you know, how to do it, how to use free weights and do them properly, okay? So this is a very good workout to work, to work on all of that, especially form. Uh, before practicing form and all of that, very, very good. We're going to go to our last clean and press. Let's go. This is our last one. Well, I'm lying. Second last one, isn't it? Second last one. And then we've got one more round to go. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling? Is everybody good? Don't be scared. You can scream and shout in your own house. Okay. 
<laughs> well, I hope you can, that you're not waking up anybody or anything like that. Hey man, just go mad, go crazy. It's nice to exercise, right? Keep it going. Okay, one last round, let's go. So we're going for our Arnold press. This is your last round. Right, let's go. So get ready. Oh, okay, here we go. Lifting up. How are the shoulders? Feeling it a little bit, yes? Come on, keep pushing. You've got to work through that burn. You've got to try and really push through that burn. Okay, that's when the magic happens, guys. Keep it going. Almost there. We're literally at the finish line. We've just got this. And then we've got our calf raise. Clean and press. And then we're moving on to abs. And then we are done. Okay, so keep it going. Almost there. And relax. Right, calf raise, let's go. Onto the balls of the feet. This is your last one. Make this one your best. Your best, best one. Okay, here we go. And lift up. Nice and high. If you can, I want you to see if you can lift up and hold for like a second and come down. Okay, lift up, hold for a second and come down. Yes. That's it. Yes, guys, that's it. Looking good. Keep it, keep it going. We are almost there. Last little bit. Okay, here we go. That's it. Still maintain a good posture. Good. Whoop. Lifting up. Last one. And relax. Right, last clean and press. Now I want you to make this one your best, even if you want to lift your speed a little bit, okay? But try and stay in your form. Flat back, keep the chest and the head up. Let's go. Dumbbells just over the knees. Okay, you don't have to bring it straight down. Let's go. A little bit of a flip. We're almost there, come on. This is the last. After this, we've got floor work. And then we are done. Keep it going. Yes. 20 more seconds, come on. Push. Yep. Here we are guys, don't give up. Last few seconds. One more dip. And relax. Oh my gosh. How are we doing? Take a breather. We've got two minutes. And then we're going to do our abs. Mm. That was good. Okay. Get your mats. If you don't have a mat, that's totally fine. Okay. Make sure you've got like a little, like a nice, soft surface, like a carpet or something. Okay, right. Are we in the center here? Let's see. So guys, I'm very OCD, eh? I was gonna say mildly, but, but um, yeah, I've got issues. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that's the center, I hope so. Anyway, are we ready for our abs? So for our abs, we're gonna go for 30 seconds for each exercise. We're gonna do three exercises, three rounds, but no breaks. So you're literally working for three minutes, full on, straight on, no stops. Okay, let's get ready. You've got one dumbbell or two dumbbells, it's up to you. Okay, this is gonna go by very quickly. Okay, get ready. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I can see myself. Okay, here we go. So you guys are gonna do your first exercise, you're just gonna lift. 
you're just gonna lift up that there we go nice and easy good nice little sit up okay if this is too much for you you can just go for a nice little crunch just there good just a crunch coming up let's go right get ready for the second exercise you're going to do a bit of a scissor okay so for scissor lifting up let's go again if that's too much for you watch the modified version you're staying on your back and just lifting good otherwise you're lifting straight up into a seated position for your scissor good keep the tummy nice and tight and relax right plank position let's go this is exercise number three hold that's it you either on your knees if you need a modification you can hold the plank on your knees everybody good get ready for the second round we've got three rounds And relax, let's go. Straight in, come on, no bricks. Let's go. Yep. That's it. Come on guys, strong. We're gonna finish strong, we're almost there. Almost there. Good. Focus on technique, don't let go of your abs. Right. Exercise number two, scissors, let's go. Good, keep the chest up, keep everything lifted. Modified, you're staying there. Right, one leg at a time, shoulders on the ground. Yes. Yes guys, looking good, we're almost there, come on. And plank, let's go. Let's hold for 30. You can either be here, you can even be up here if you wanna be. You're on your knees. Options, okay, whatever's good for you. Let's go. Almost there. Push, push, push. One more round to go, let's go. Straight in. Guys, this is the last. Make it count. Give it your best shot. Yep. Guys, we have completed this workout. <laughs> well done everyone, we are almost there. And relax, right, scissor, let's go. Control, keep the form. How are those abs? Yes, keep it going. Yep. Almost there. And relax, last plank, let's go. Last plank. Come on, hold, keep the bum in. So I don't want you guys to be here. That, keep everything in. Tilt the pelvis in. Almost there. Come on guys, we're almost there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Oh my gosh. Well done. Get into a nice child's pose for me. I want you to bring your big toes together, bring your knees out, and you're just gonna hold here. Just relax. Okay. 
nice, nice cool down. And feel really, really proud of yourselves for what you've just done. You know, an hour workout, it's intense. You all managed very, very well. I want you to bring your right arm through. And so this is how I want you to watch. So you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna rotate through, putting your shoulder down onto the mat and your head and you're just gonna relax there. You can keep the bum up and just hold. Change sides, but threading through the arm and just hold the Mm, so good and gently release right from here you're gonna get your right leg through try and put your right leg in the middle of your mat okay and you're just gonna hold here okay just holding nice and easy I want you to sink into your hips oh gosh there's a bee on me and I have a phobia of bees so just um, give me a second <laughs> Oh, <sighs> the thing about filming outside, yeah, how are we doing? <laughs> Gosh, I'm such a joke, oh my god, and you're gonna push back. <laughs> <laughs> Stretching out the backs of the legs. Here we are. Getting into the backs. Okay, so if your leg doesn't stretch out completely, that's fine. If there's a bend, it's okay. You'll feel a nice stretch at the back of the legs. Okay. And you're just gonna come forward again into that same position, but now only you're gonna put your your, your one hand flat on the mat. And you're gonna twist up forward. Oh, so good. And release. Right, you're gonna get the leg back, however comfortable for you. And you're gonna get your opposite leg forward and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so really sink into your hips. Right. Sink into the hips and just hold there. feeling though you're gonna stretch out the front leg and hold right if you want more of a stretch you can go straight down right straight down and forward fold right but do whatever's good for you Whew, this mat on the grass is a problem okay coming forward again here we are That's it. And gently release down, right, coming back. Okay, from there we're gonna go into a seated position. Okay, nice and easy, seated position. Right, one arm over and across, just hold. Lifting up, tricep stretch. Still watch your posture in this position. Are you still seated tall? Right. Try not to sink in. Lift yourself out of your hips. Right, and relax. Other side. Oh, you should feel really, really amazing now. Tomorrow, later on, you might feel a little bit sore. Like I said, if you're not used to this type of training, okay, always good to do a little bit of active recovery tomorrow. A little bit of a jog, something easy, something light. Okay, but keeping, when you keep moving, it really does help a little bit with the soreness. Okay, I find that if I'm, if I do a heavy workout and the next day if I'm just chilling, I feel those, I feel that pain even more. 
So I make sure I kind of move, you know, do some yoga, do some stretching or some running or some jogging, you know, something just to keep, keep moving. Right. Beautiful work, guys, coming up. Want you to interlace your hands behind your back. Right, and really open up the shoulders and come down. Just hold there for a few seconds. And relax. Right, guys, how are we feeling? Well done. You did so, so well today. I hope this is gonna be something that you wanna continue doing and continue practicing. Okay, like I said, strength training, very, very important to incorporate your strength training in your schedules, um, working on your form, getting all the, uh, the te uh, technique and form right. Um, so thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I hope that you're feeling good and that your body feels good. Okay, especially this is good for muscle endurance, building your muscle. So this is the type of workout you wanna do when you wanna build your muscle endurance, you wanna build your strength. You pick up strength very, very quickly with these types of exercises. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you, you, you try and do this kind, of, this kind of training at least twice a week, twice, twice a week. You'll see a big, big difference. You'll see and feel a big difference. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you had a good one. I really, really had fun doing this workout with you today. And don't forget, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the channel. You know, if you've got people, if you've got friends that you know wanna do some, some training at home, you know, let them know about it. Don't forget to tag me in your workouts. If you're on Instagram, on Facebook or anything like that, let me know how it goes. I'm really, really excited to hear back from you after this, after this workout. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good one.